So this is a review of these extension tubes for the macro photography that you can get to attach to your lens. So these particular ones attach to a Canon lens which is the EFS lenses or the EF lenses. So most of my lenses are EF, ES with the Canon 90D camera that I've got. Um, so they are relatively cheap, I think cost around £30 on Amazon and um, so if we just have a look at this this is the newer uh, make um, let me just open it up and see what's inside so you get the lens the extension tubes in this little uh, black carrier bag thing so if I just open this up so I've got three different attachments here. So the first attachment is 21 millimeters. The second attachment is 31 millimeters, and the last attachment is 13 millimeters. So I've only tried it out once so far. Um, you do get these little instruction. Let me just stand this up. You do get these the little instruction manual. Um, customer service uh, thing how to contact the customer services and there's um, a little user manual in here um, it doesn't really tell you very much it's uh, it's telling you really what you need to have is an aperture reading on the back of your camera um, so it tells you to attach the device to the camera and then the lens to the device or you can attach the device to the lens and then to the camera so um, what I've got here on this is my Canon 90D camera um, so I've got a 35mm lens on here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and I'm going to just use a smaller one first so to unclip this you just press that little you just press that little silver um, button and then you just twist that off like you would twist the lens off and you can either put it on the lens first so this has got like a safety cap because that was the last one take that off so you can either attach the lens to this first so find where the white dot is you line the white dots up and then you just twist until it clicks like that and you'll see that little thing move to lock the lens in place and then you can attach it to the camera again match the white dots up and twist until it locks and then you just switch your camera on and then if you go onto live view on the back and just see We'll put it in autofocus. It's in as an and lens error and it's going to restart the camera. So sometimes that happens if if the the connections sometimes that happens if the, the lenses are not properly properly lined up. So that says there's a lens error. Um it says it's going to rest will shut down automatically restart the camera so I'll just switch it off I'll undo it again and I'll try connecting it again switch it on again oh dear me what have I done so I'll just take this stand off Still showing the error message even though I've switched the camera off so I'm just going to undo the battery at the back and then the message will go put the battery back in this time I'll do it the other way around I'll put the I'll put the adapter on first and then I'll put the lens on 
and then I'll switch it on go a live view and we've got an aperture reading there now it's shown me an aperture reading you can see 2.8 if it doesn't show you an aperture reading then there's something you need to try again from the beginning so I'm going to take a picture of this cake so what you need to do is you need to move in to your subject if you're too far away you won't get it to focus because uh, so if I try to get it at the focus when I'm too far away, I can't get it to focus. So what you have to do is you have to move in close to your subject and then it lets you focus. You can see there it's managed to take a picture of that cake. You can see part of the cake are blurred because it's a 2.8 aperture. If I change the, I could ch change the aperture up, so let's just get it back into live view and change the aperture. Um, I've got it in automatic focus, that's why. Let me just put it in manual and I'll change the aperture, turn it up to say 11. But because I'm, I'm going to have to use the flash because um, it's not that light in here. So if we focus like that. You can move in close to the subject. That's the good thing about it. Um, you're not seeing what I'm seeing are you? So, so if you're too far away and you try to focus, you won't like, you won't be able to focus that well. So you have to move in closer. You can see it's now coming into focus there. That's in focus now. You can see. That image you might not be able to see on. I'll, I'll put a picture up uh, as well. You can see the detail in that icing. It's really sharp. That was with the 11 aperture. And now if we put the other rings on. So I'm putting the smaller one on first. And then I'm putting the Cup off and put these larger ones on and then put the lens on the end got that on automatic focus switch it on so I'm just pressing half shut and pressing the shutter button um, it seems to focus because the green square is there, so now I can take a shot. And then you can see that beautiful detail in the leaf there. So that is using the two extension tubes. and. Uh, so I'll just move the camera out of the way. So this is the leaf I've just shot. And uh, I think it's done quite a good job of catch, capturing that image of the leaf, as you can see there. So I'm going to take a picture just with the macro lens. You can see this is just a 35mm lens here. And um, I'm just going to... I'm this close to the broccoli. So I'm just focusing on, on the broccoli with a 35mm lens and I'm just going to put some paper just above the flash just so it bounces back onto the broccoli. So the image we get is, we can zoom in. You can see a very close image of these little 
broccoli florets and you can even see all the specks of dust on them these will clean out the packet by the way um, clean, um, clean out of the cellophane packet so I don't know if that's just like pollen or something so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add one of the extension tubes onto the lens as well and just see I'll just add the smaller one first and see how we get on So I'm going to use the, um, I think I'll use the 13mm one, which is the, the one that I've got in the middle of these. So this is a 30, 31, 13, 21, so I'm going to use the 13. So I'm just going to take that one off, and I'm just going to take that one off. And then I'll take this lens off, and then I'll put this one on it clicks then I'll put the lens on till it clicks put it in live view and just check that it has got an aperture reading when it has so let's just see how close we can get with this lens without it defocusing on that let's get the paper ready so let's just see so we can see get even more like detail in these florets we can't compare them, we'll just do that again we'll just move it to a different area see if we can get in any closer Touching it now, <laughs> touching it with the lens. Well, I'll focus there. We'll try and put the aperture up a bit, maybe it's a bit further to 11, but it's going to be darker the image. And as I increase the ISO, let's just use the flash again. So you can see it is darker because I've increased the aperture. But I could brighten this in Photoshop. I'll put these into Photoshop and I'll just increase the exposure a bit so we can have a better look at them. And I'll just do another one by just decreasing the aperture again. I'll knock it down to 7.1 so let's just have a look at those so we can compare now that's just using the smallest extension tube could try adding another one so we'll take this lens off and then if we add the 21 millimeter to this one and then add the lens back on now we'll go back mm -hmm. Put it back in live view. Just check we have got an aperture. We have 7.1. Let's see if we can get any closer. Oh, 
let's have a look at this one. Really quite interesting looking at something that you don't see every day. I mean, when you look at broccoli, you don't really pay much attention to the different florets. Looks amazing. So put these in Photoshop and we'll have a look at them. So that's with the two tubes on. I wonder what kind of difference it would make if we had the three tubes on. So let's just swap it to the three tubes. I've got blue lights in front of my eyes now. After the flashes I've got in my eyes. There. That's the last tube. I'll put the 35 millimeter lens back on. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it back in a live view. We haven't got an aperture, can you see? Oh. We haven't got an aperture because uh, when I click that it's got F double O. So if it's F double O, I'm going to have to lens error again. So the last time that happened I had to take the battery out. I think it's when you've got the whole three together. Battery out, battery back in. Switch it on again. Live view. Oh, we've got an aperture now. So, we'll find if we can get closer even. It's focusing in on it, but it's not. Let me just put that there. There you are. Let's flash around a bit oh, and turn it this way a bit. Focus on that one. I think I'm going to have to drop the aperture down a little bit. I don't want to increase the ISO. Drop it down to five. Let's So this is with all three of them on, so you, you can get in a bit closer with all three of them on. Let me try a different position, um, just move the camera a bit. It might be worth putting it in a light box, I'll try it in a light box. What I've got here is a flash with a bulb filter on the end and um, it's a wireless flash. I've got it attached to a Godox trigger and that's going into the flash. Um, and then I've got this light box. It's just a mini light box that I bought from Amazon and uh, in the mini light box you can see it's got lights on the, on the roof. And you can see the flash hanging down there and it's um, I've got the broccoli in a just in a jug and I've got the cameras got the three 
extension tubes on it and um, you can see it clear, more clearly there with the 35mm macro lens on the end and the settings I've got on the camera are you know, so the settings I've got on the camera I've changed it to f14 I've got a 100 ISO and a 100 shutter speed so I've got the Godox um, wireless trigger on the top here I have got another video um, I'll put a link below of uh, how to use these Godox wireless flash triggers um, so I've got this it's flash C and I've got it set to a half strength So I'm just going to focus in on the little, on the little um, sprout things on the broccoli, and then I can zoom in, and uh, you can see the really fine detail there. Just cut that off here, so you can see. I'll show you the photograph, um, it's not very good trying to just show you with the, this uh, camera but it has got really like lots of detail in that one little sprout on the broccoli. So that's using the three extension tubes. So you can see in this image it was taken with the three extension tubes. So it was taken with the flash in the light box and it was taken at f8 hundredth of a second ISO 100 and you can see the very fine detail in those little florets. So this is just using the, the 35mm lens you can see how close to the broccoli I am there. So I've got the flash and I'm just going to try and zoom in a bit closer on these little florets won't let me go closer. I think that's probably the closest I can get. So I'll just sort of like see if it'll turn green. That won't turn green until I move back a bit. So now it is. So I'll have a look at that image. And we can compare these images. Um, in, in Photoshop we can compare them you can see the details not as great on that so this is the closest I could get with the, just the 35 millimeter lens it's a f14 a hundredth of a second I saw a hundred and you can see I can't get in any closer with that 35 millimeter lens and I'm going to show you the comparison now if I compare the both of them in Photoshop you can see with the three extension tubes you get a much sharper um, more zoomed in and some more macro image than what you do without the extension tubes and that 35mm lens is a macro lens thank you for watching this video I hope this has been useful to you for 30, 30 something pound I think it's a bargain where you can get fine detail in macro photography I'm looking forward to further experimenting with these extension tubes so until the next video thank you for watching uh, please hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this until the next video bye for now